But we're going to stay with a Super Tuesday now and head to California, where we can join Casey Dominguez, who's a professor of political science, uh, science rather, at the University of San Diego. Uh, thanks very much for joining us, uh, Professor Dominguez. Now, most primaries are this, uh, this side of the pond. The talk is all about, as we just heard, how long Nikki Haley can stay in the Republican race. But California is a blue state. So what are the main talking points there? Uh, well, today, Californians are really more interested in uh, figuring out who's going to be on the ballot in November to replace Dianne Feinstein, our very long, longtime senator who died last year. So, uh, you know, the, the, the primary results are probably pretty predictable on, for, at the presidential level, but, but we're very interested in the Senate race here. And also the, uh, the down ballot uh, has uh, potentially important uh, implications for the, the House of Representatives, uh, of course, where the Republicans hold a razor thin majority. What, what could be some of the uh, potential uh, effects of that in the, um, in the November vote? Well, I think the biggest question for down ballot races is always the candidate quality. Um, the Republicans certainly suffered from nominating very Trumpian candidates and lost some races that they might otherwise have been able to win in both 2018, 2020, and 2022. Um, so, you know, the, the primary vote will, in a, in a lot of interesting races, be about um, whether a, in, in, in contested Republican primaries, is it a more Trumpian candidate or a less Trumpian candidate um, that gets to November? Um, and voters, primary voters, will decide that. OK, there's uh, some very particular issues uh, which are very California-specific, applicable to other states, of course. But to widen it up a bit, two, two of the biggest prizes, of course, on Super Tuesday are California and Texas, two states which are literally on the front line of what will be one key issue in November's election, that's migration. How much is this shaping discussion where you are? Well, it's interesting. It really depends on who you're talking to and what kind of news they're watching. Um, if you're watching... Um, you know, Republican right wing media in the United States, you're hearing about immigration all the time. Um, and if you're paying more attention to uh, the, uh, you know, mainstream news media that isn't necessarily right wing, then you're hearing about all different kinds of issues. And, and um, certainly the, the large number of migrants at the southern border is part of what everyone understands to be the issues of, of the 2024 election. Um, but I think it's particularly the case for those that are consuming uh, right wing media. Of course, the economy, another very key issue there, but uh, California, strongest economy in the US. So that's a particular topic in itself. Just uh, with the presidential races, as we've said, looking at more or less to go to plan, uh, are there any other key, uh, any other issues that you're keeping an eye on in particular? I mean, there are uh, there are local races, you know, the United States is is thinking about a lot about criminal justice reforms at the local level after the George Floyd protests and the Black Lives Matter protests of 2020. And so there are various races around the country um, that are, you know, that are it, uh, about local district attorneys and local judges. And, you know, whoever wins those races or, or gets on the, the November ballot um, will have some effect on how laws are enforced and criminal justice reforms are brought about at the local level. OK, thank you for the moment for your, uh, your thoughts there, Professor Casey Dominguez, uh, Professor of Political Science at the University of San Diego. Thank you. Thank you.